Today on the channel for the X-Men 97 line, we've got Gambit and we've got Bishop. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! channel for another x-men 97 marvel legends unboxing and review and today on the channel we got gambit and we've got bishop but for all your x-men 97 needs and a whole lot more make sure you're hitting up djc collectibles use discount code adolf djc to save eight percent off your entire order gotta get a deal out there but of course we're gonna do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel we're gonna take a look at the packaging we're gonna talk about it we're gonna unbox it we're gonna talk about it we're going to see where it goes from there. We got Bishop. We got Gambit. Where do I start? I guess I'm going to go Bishop first. Yes, Bishop. One of my all-time favorite X-Men, and I really uh, enjoyed his story arcs in the 90s, and that's really when I came into my X-Men fandom, late 80s, early 90s. Uh, but I always did like Bishop a whole lot. And this Bishop is an interesting one, and we will compare him to the prior X-Men uh, Bishop figure. And I have a feeling I'm going to prefer that one over, even if it doesn't have all the bells and whistles of this one, and we'll talk about it when we get there. But let's look at the package on Bishop. Of course, X-Men 97 in the logo up there you got the team going on there's old bishop bishop name there big bubble window retro carded figure very similar to the spider-man ones we've seen fairly recently very thick cardboard definitely here for that at the end of the day on the back big old cross cell we're unboxing all these on the channel so make sure you do subscribe to the youtube channel both youtube channels while you're at it marvel legends logo up there jibber jabber down here glamour shot of bishop looking good here and let's get him out let's see what's going on let's see what all that fuss is about we got bishop going on once again, all the accessories kind of fall out on these, uh, but there it is. See you later. Goodbye, Bishop. Uh, we got a little Spider-Man style. Bam! See you later. And then we get some plastic prison action for Bishop. And Bishop got a good size to him, of course. We know Bishop, a big bruiser of a figure. There we go. See you later. Goodbye. All right. Man, I like what I see outside of one thing, and we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. But we do get two trigger finger hands for him. Uh, looking good here, of course. Bishop not messed around. Always had a big weapon with him. Almost like a young roadblock in some ways. One of the big heavy artillery guys of the X-Men. Uh, he's got the old finger going on, the gloved fingers, uh, ready to shoot somebody if he needs to. We got a Fist of Fury, it looks like. Oh, yeah, playing the hits. Got a Fist of Fury and then kind of a maniacal hand going on there. And then you do get a little weapon all in gray. This doesn't really feel Bishop to me. I feel like he needs a bigger blaster, but this will do. All in gray, a little extra color would have went a long way, but it is what it is. But he does have that going on. But now we get down to old Bishop, and the thing, it's not a deal breaker to me, but I think of Bishop with the long flowing hair. I think of Bishop going back to his prior incarnation here, of course, in the Marvel Legends series. Absolutely love Bishop, and when I close my eyes, like I do many a night, and I think of Bishop, this is what I think of. I got that flowing mullet going on there, uh, mean mug and face, just looking really, really good. This is angry Bishop. He's angry, my friends. Uh, I really do like this one, though, and I still have a use for that in my collection. I'm not going to get rid of this just because I like that head sculpt so much, and I guess I theoretically could swap these. I might try that here in a little bit, but let's look at this Bishop figure first before we get to it. Love the coloring on here. I love the brown yellow compared to the orangish yellow we got on the prior version i love this yellow and i love this blue you got the little x logo on his belt unfortunately got a little paint defect on that x that's unfortunate there uh, we do get the holster for his weapon on his back that is nice it's always fun to be able to store the stuff on a figure i'm here for that he does got the big old handkerchief what do we call this thing i guess scarf is what the technical term would be for this one and i thought it would be removable it is not it seems to be glued back here you could break it off if you needed to but i'm not going to go that way uh, i'm going to keep it on there you get the racing stripe and yellow down against the blue just a very iconic look to bishop and then the head the short hair here takes a while to get used to of course he's had both looks in the past but the short isn't what i think of right away got a goatee you can set your watch to and then of course got the uh, M over his eye, I guess we'll call it there. Mutant, he's got that going on, looking good. And then like most human beings, he's got a mouth, he's got a nose, he's got two ears, and he's got two eyes playing all the hits going on right there. 
Of course, articulation arms do go around. And very interesting with this line about every single figure, be it the belt or somewhere else, and here it is these shoulder guards. Uh, if you move your arm, it will move this there with it. So you got to be careful if you're going to do that. Uh, and if you're going to leave them in positions, you could bend this plastic. So watch out on that. We've seen it on belts. We've seen it on this now as well. He does got a bicep cut. Yes, he does. A uh, beautiful bicep cut on him. And then he does have double jointed, pinless elbows, very smooth joints, playing a lot of hits here. Hands removable back and forth, side to side. Does got that wristband as well. So watch out. Don't lose that one. Uh, hula hoop. Yeah, no hula hoop. He's got the ab crunch. He's got the ab crunch on him. Very tight. You can even hear it. He's got that tight ab crunch. you got waist articulation. Once again, you got that belt you got to be careful for there. Big old Bishop splits if you need to. And then thigh cut. Big old tree trunk legs on Bishop. Double jointed knees. Boot cut. Ankles back forth. Side by side, by side on the ankles. All the articulation we are very accustomed to. A very good figure. I like the size. I like the feel of this one. Of course, you know I love the pinless joints on this one. A lot to like about this Bishop figure. It just really comes down to how do you prefer your head to, uh, or hair more like it on your Bishop. Do you like the short hair? Or you like the long hair? Can I pop this bad boy off? There goes that. I guess it's an easy fix if I really wanted to. Uh, I can make your favorite version of Bishop. Oh, I don't know if it'll go on. I might have to get a little bit of heat in there. We'll see. I'll try it one more time. Oh, there we go. Just got to power through. It works, but it doesn't work at the same time because that hair leans his head forward. It's just uh, kind of a mess there. But boy, that does look like more like Bishop I'm accustomed to here. Uh, but you could easily move them back and forth, switch them around. Interesting, just interesting. A simple head swap can really change things up, as uh, we're seeing right here today. Oh my gosh, now can I get this head back off without pulling his hair out? There we go, got that there, and I'm going to pop this back on. And there we go. All is right with the world once again. But Bishop looking good. Um, I don't know, I don't know. I really do like this one, though. I like the feel, I like the body, it's just the hair is messing with me but i'm sure i'll get used to it but a fabulous figure for the most part so really good hits being played here in x-men 97 now i'm going to turn my attention over here to old gambit an all-timer out there a favorite of mine right up there with wolverine for me is gambit and we're no stranger to gambit figures we got an old marvel legend recently we got a retro card maybe about two years ago as a target exclusive now we're getting an x-men 97 gambit so Things are coming up Gambit right now, X-Men 97. You got the team, you got the glamour shot, big bubble window. Got his name right there. On the back, same thing as Bishop. Got the cross cell. No blurb on here, unfortunately. You do got a glamour shot, all that jibber-jabber at the bottom. It is Gambit. We get one extra hand. You get the cards. We get a lot of reuse as far as Gambit goes, as far as some of his weapons and some of his accessories. Uh, it seems to be the go-to with him. And got to get the most out of your molds. We know how that goes as well. So we got that Spider-Man style. Bam, see you later. See you later packaging. And we got old Gambit doing Gambit things right under the package in the plastic prison. But let's pop him out. See what's doing. See what's going on. See what all the fuss is about with Gambit here. There's always fuss with Gambit. Is he a thief? Is he a good guy? Is he a bad guy? See you later. Is he a tweener? Is he in between? You never know with Gambit sometimes. And this one, I will say, first impressions, the most cartoony of the bunch. Uh, some of these, obviously, they look like they look on the cartoon, but he almost has like an animated feel to him in some ways, where these kind of have a more comic view to them. Maybe that's just me. You guys sound off in the comments down below. What happened to his uh, cane? Did I throw that off? Obviously, I must have, so I'm going to find that out here in a second. Let me fish that out. Let me find that cane really quick. And we got the old cane for old Gambit here, of course. He loves this old stick. He uses it as a weapon. uses it to walk with. uses it whatever he needs it for, but we do get this. Seen it before. We'll see it again. We know how that goes. We do get a little card here. It is on, uh, you know, he charges these cards up and he uses them as a weapon. A very inventive thing there, but part of his power is there. We've seen these before as well, so we get that. And then another one we've seen as well is this hand, the effect hand that we use for Gambit. Got the cards flying through the air there with a nice effect. Translucent pink color against the black glove. A little bit of skin tone there as well. So playing all the Gambit hits at the end of the day. But now we get to this very animated style Gambit here. Of course, you know who this is right away because you know this trench coat equals Gambit, the wild hair at the top, kind of the mask, the ski mask that goes around his head. 
Very, very plain Jane, though. The face is just very interesting. Uh, I just don't know if uh, it needs a little bit more personality, I would say, on the face on this one. But it does look okay. You got a little bit of pinkness, redness in the middle of the eye. Very stoic face. And much like we saw with Wolverine, a little bit of stubble added there. Uh, definitely interesting. I just don't know if it's my favorite Gambit head sculpt ever. It's just a little too cartoony for me. Of course, you do get the hands on Gambit. You got kind of the splayed out one here. You can hold that card if you need to. And then you got the gripping hand, of course, for his cane there. Or his staff. It could be a staff too, I guess, technically. But it does look good. You get a very pink color as far as his chest. Now, that is one thing that has been missing from the other Gambits is he's got a little bit more color to this one here. Of course, the black tights got some of that pink going on. And then you do get the boots here with a nice blue color against that black really does. So the blue, pink, and black attack with the brown trench coat. And, of course, very iconic when we think of him. We think of the trench coat. Uh, there's no doubt about it there for me. But a good-looking Gambit, just a little too animated for me, is really my final verdict. But his articulation, arms do go around. You do get a bicep cut. Uh, Single-jointed elbows on this one. You do get the side-to-side. -side. Of course, pinless on this one. Hands back and forth, removable. Head back and forth, side-to-side. -side. A lot of up and down on the head here. Removable. I do like the hair on this one, though. Uh, you do get waist articulation. You do get the ab crunch on him. You do get the big old splits if you need them. You got the thigh cut. Double-jointed pinned knees. They're not pinless. They're pinned. And then you do get the boot cut, ankles back forth, side to side. So we don't get the pinless joints with Gambit, which is a little interesting. And we do see if he fits on a ringside collectible stand. And what do you know? He fits on there. We knew he would. We knew he would. And he does. So he fits on there perfectly. Of course, prior Gambits, we got a little darker trench coat on this one here. Definitely different hair on these, though. That is the big one. You got diff three different hairstyles going on for Gambit here. Really, which one do you like best? And personally, I think I like this retro. I like the retro Target one here. This is the old regular Build-A-Figure Wave uh, Gambit. I like the trench coat coloring on this one. I like the pink, though, on the chest of this one. So it's almost like, can I take a little bit from all three Gambits to make my perfect Gambit? That might be what we need to do here. But a good figure at the end of the day, especially if you missed out on these other Gambit figures. And we know with X-Men 97 coming around the corner, people are going to want these characters. So it makes a lot of sense for this line. Just a few little tweaks here and there. Make him a little less cartoony. Uh, make Bishop with long hair, even though obviously he's not going to have long hair in the series. Uh, but a very good start here, and I like where this X-Men 97 wave is going. I'm interested to see what happens in Wave 2. I think there's a lot of X-Men characters that could use some updates, and there is some new characters we'd like to get as part of X-Men 97. So we'll see what happens. Uh, we'll stay tuned to all that. And, of course, we're unboxing this whole line on the channel, so make sure you do subscribe to this very YouTube channel. And while you're here, don't forget to like the videos as well, and leave me your thoughts on X-Men 97 in the comments down below. Don't forget about Patreon, your best way to support the channel, and all the content it does bring. You can also support the channel over there on ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. Don't forget social media. Sir Paul 64 on the X. The underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on Instagram and on threads. So for another X-Men 97 unboxing, I'm Kyle. I'll see you guys all real soon.